Hello, welcome to Stone Magpie. My name is Suzanne and there's no prizes today for guessing what sort of kit I'm going to be unboxing today. <laughs> it is such a big box that it has taken up quite a bit of the table. This is my Black Friday haul of diamond paintings and Honestly, I put so many in my basket and really had to dwindle them down because it was just beyond ridiculous. So I ended up choosing three altogether and we're going to see one of them today. Oh, I've been waiting quite a while to do this unboxing. So of course I am very excited. You need to let me know if you bought any Black Friday deals. Sorry about the wobble. As I say, I'm trying to unbox this on the table and it is a heavy one. So they are my kits and we're going to delve in. I know exactly which unboxing though I'm going to do today. So it's not going to be a lucky dip. And like I say, if you got any Black Friday deals or any treats over the Christmas season, please do let me know. What's this? Oh, just packaging. Okay, that's fine. I thought I had a extra something in there. Right. Like I say, no spoilers for the other two kits because I will be unboxing those at a later date. So bear with me while I get the diamond painting out of the box. And the top one is the one that I have chosen. So let's put this one aside. Ah, oh, that's better. A much more manageable box, although this is still quite a big one to be fair. And the eagle-eyed among you will already see that it is a square diamond painting from Diamond Art Club. And okay, I'll tell you what we're unboxing today is Remembrance of a Lost Legend. And this was one of my top picks for the Black Friday deals. I saw it and I knew it was a must have for me. I love the image and really am looking forward to seeing the canvas and the diamonds that come with this one. So let's crack it open. No more hesitation. I think this one's a great one for the new year as well. A little bit of time and reflection for the new year after all of the busyness of the festive season. Okay, turn it round, open up the box and straight away we can see the toolkit nestled there. So we'll have a little look at that first see what goodies I got this time. I'm still hoping for one of those elusive pairs of pink tweezers. However, it's not today because they've already popped out of the bottom of the packet. So we always get a pair of tweezers. These ones look a bit battered to be honest. <laughs> um, so needle nose tweezers, very sharp. So we do have the plastic guard to keep them safe while we're not using them. Let's see what else. Okay, so we have got a white tray with the stopper on the end. Really good trays, these. We've got a basic diamond painting pen in blue with a single placer on the end and a squidgy to push onto the pen for our comfort grip. We have the multi-placer ends, so a four placer and a seven placer. By the way, do excuse my nails. I have literally just been outside gardening <laughs> and just wanted to rush in and do an unboxing quickly while my husband was out. We have our pack of spare baggies. We have our slabs of pink wax. We get two heart-shaped pink waxes in this heart-shaped caddy to keep them fresh. And we have, oh, a cover minder 
which is a basket of four tulips. They are really cute with the magnets that you slide off the back. Now I've heard a rumour that Diamond Art Club are no longer doing the cover minders on their new kits because they've got a different cover on, like a perforated cover. So it'd be interesting if it, this kit has that with having the, the cover minder in the kit. They may just be phasing those out eventually. I really like the cover minder collection though. Washi tape. A nice rose floral one for me this time and if you saw a recent video of mine you'll see a little tip about how to use the washi tape on your trays to help with the diamonds keeping in a nice formation so I will link that video in the eye up here if you want to catch that tip it was on my recent whip and chat called it's been a while <laughs> it certainly has Okay, so that's the toolkit. Let's get out of this picture. Ooh. So the little sticker is there waiting on the top to tell us lots of detail. Remembrance of a Lost Legend, the artwork by Nathan Miller. The shape is a square and it is a 98 by 65, or should I say 65 by 98 centimetres. Hence the big box. <laughs> um, so I use this little sticker in my logbook, just so that you know, but people do put them on the ends of their boxes if they're storing their diamond paintings in their boxes. You don't have to, it's entirely up to you. Right, let's see. I forgot that this one was so big, you know. Ooh, it's a whopper. Okay, here we go. Right, there's no way I'm going to get this on my table. I'm just going to pull back a little bit so that I can get as much of the canvas in as I can. It's gonna be quite a tricky one to fit in, but we'll try our best. We're opening it from the top. Oh, already I love that design with all of those outlines around the top. And look, wow. Magnificence already. And you can see two furry ears. Oh, look. Oh, my goodness, what a handsome face. Wow. Oh, he is beautiful and he's got lots of lovely detail. Look at his really lovely nose and those gorgeous eyes. Oh, there's something about bear eyes, isn't there, that looks so sad and cuddly and cute. I'm not sure if that would be the case if it was a real bear right in front of me, especially this size. <laughs> he's got quite a big face. Oh, look at those leaf de details down the side as well and this sort of a ray of a circular design around beautiful and here we carry on going down to this figure here looking up to the skies in that pose look at this big paw here with those claws fabulous detail and then as i say those it's like um plants growing up the side again raying outwards to match the sun ray beaming from the middle oh, beautiful necklace and look at this on the side this beautiful vase here with that detail around it and then she's in the pose the lotus pose perhaps don't do yoga so don't quote me on it <laughs> I can't possibly sit with my legs crossed like that. I wish I could. I've never been able to do that. Oh, so I would love to be able to. And she's got the, it looks like ivy around her middle, tied around her middle there. And she's sat in that beautiful pose of relaxation and meditation. Isn't that beautiful? And look at the bottom of the canvas here with all of that stone detail. Trying to see what this is here. Hmm, I'm not sure because I did wonder maybe it's a reflection because it does look paw like with the claws. Hmm, 
Hmm. I think we need to have a look at the big sticker because that shows us the picture really well usually. But this is quite sad. Look what's happened to my sticker sheet here. It's come apart a little bit and we've lost one. Pop that back in its place. Hmm. A bit beaten up, I think, this kit. Even though it was well sealed in its box, don't quite know what's happened here. Anyway, not to worry. Um, the canvas itself is fine. There are no problems with the canvas. The only thing I would say is maybe a bit of a ding here, but really, really nothing to worry about at all. And the canvases from Diamond Art Club are self-flattening. So I think that will just even out as it's sat here on the table. So here we are, right, here's the big picture. Just look at that bear. Oh, he's beautiful. And she just sits nestled into him, doesn't she? A bit like when you have a little baby or a child and they have a really big teddy bear and you can sit them in between the legs. I think um, it reminded me of that. Now, what I saw here is this claw detail and I think I can see a leg. So he sat there and that looks like his leg with his little tootsies forming around there. So I think that's what that is. So he must be sort of sat to the side. Look at that vase, it's beautiful, isn't it? Perhaps it's got his honey in because he's definitely got his paw, like a protective paw on that pot. <laughs> Anyway, so we do get our big sticker with details on it, which you can also put in your um, logbook if you want to with the start date and end date for your diamond painting. And we've got the stickers with the numbers, the symbols and the DMC numbers on. Can't remember in this kit, it looks like we've got three ABs and two fairy dust and a six um, so that could be a crystal. Not sure. Excited to see though. Of course, we also get our thank you leaflet with our scan codes in to join the Facebook group. Get some tips and tricks if it's your first time diamond painting. Step-by-step -step instructions, a thank you code and 20% off your first purchase through the app. So always useful to have if you're a beginner, that leaflet there. Okay, oh, big pack of diamonds here with the title on. So if you're storing your diamonds separately to your canvas, you won't get them confused with any others. What a big pack of browns and very subtle colours with little pops of ABs, I can see. Let's get them open. Now, normally I would say, look at the rainbow, but actually there's no rainbow this time. It is very subtle browns, greens, with little hints. Oh, that's a teeny weeny little pack there. Look at that. <laughs> so cute. Okay, I will very, very quickly run through the colours, just pulling them across the screen so you can get an idea. So browns, as I say, dark browns. In fact, let me do it a different way so you can see the numbers because there may be duplicate packs of numbers in this one. Oh, get myself sorted out. It's been a while since I've done unboxing. I think I'm out of practice. <laughs> so here we go with those browns. Ah, oh, yes, they're already duplicates of numbers, three tens, we're up to four packs of three tens, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten packs of three tens, but they're not massive packs to be fair, they're not the really massive packs, but yeah, ten packs. Three, three, seven, one, three, four, four packs of those, two packs of four, three, four, and a three, eight, five, seven.
Oh gosh, more browns. I did see a twinkle of something lovely though. So here we go. One, three, one, three, four. So I think you get the sense of how earthy this kit is. And look, two packs of that gorgeous 105AB. And it is a beautiful colour. I've had this on another kit. I think it was the Anne Stokes Crystal Ball kit on the goblet. And oh, fabulous. So here we go, more browns. There we are. I think we're lightening up a little bit with this pack. Here we go. Pale green. Oh, oh, look at that colour. That is a fairy dust. And I would say it's a very, very pale lilac. Very pale. Beautiful. You can see... The variety of colours in the smaller packs here. And these little bibby packs. Oh my goodness, look at that. Not many of 740 at all. Look how bright that is. Oh, look at the teals. One of my favourite colours. Yellows, oranges. Oh, a beautiful green AB. Oh, that peach is gorgeous. Wow. Oh, there's another fairy dust. A small packet of, it's like a pale pumpkin orange. <laughs> and those gorgeous, subtle colours with that mint AB. Oh, there you are, gorgeous. Right, should we get an idea of where they all are? Only tiny little spots of ABs by the looks of it. So just give me a second and I'll try and work out where they are. Okay, so I've cut off the AB and the fairy dust diamonds for us to see where they sit in the canvas. And I'm going to start in the bottom half with the fairy dust because the fairy dust diamonds all sit within the figure in the middle. So we're starting with the U code, which is this 3856 fairy dust, and that is in her forearms there. Fairy dust. The other fairy dust is 3743, and that is a right angle with a dot symbol which sits within her dress. So although her dress looks quite grey, it's actually got some of these beautiful lilac -y tones in as well. So pretty. Now the three ABs, we've got 125, we've got 108 and we've got 105. I'll put the number one symbol aside for a moment and let's look at the number two symbol, which is this green AB and that sits up the sides on the plant work on both sides of the canvas. So we can take a closer look at that as we move up the canvas too. The number three symbol is this beautiful mint green AB and that is part of her dress as well but also within her fingertips. So it's, it's like they are shimmering as she's doing her meditation. So in the dress, and within her fingertips, probably on the palm of her hands shining through the fingers. Oh, that's going to be so beautiful. So now moving down the canvas, none of these colours are further up. They are all sitting within this central part of the figure here. So we are just looking at these two for the topmost part of the canvas. So I have to fold this up so that I can get the canvas in better. Okay, so this green AB is within the leaves either side, going up the sides there. And this number one symbol, bet you can't guess where this goes. <laughs> 
Yes, okay, you've guessed it. There are loads all over the bear. So you may be able to pick out here the number one symbols all the way down here, all the way around his fur, round the details in his nose, just covered everywhere within the bear. That is going to look so gorgeous. <laughs> and then not only do we have the condensed amount in the bear, we also have little speckles of it within the starburst coming out as well. So little bits within the background. So the stars of the show are definitely the bear and the figure with her meditation. It's a beautiful canvas. I am so pleased with it. And of course, it's one that now I want to get on with straight away. <laughs> Always the same when we open out these beautiful pictures. So if you've not bought a Diamond Art Club canvas before, they are super quality. They have got the scalloped edge with the perforations to stop any fraying. They have legend left and right with all of the symbols shown as well as the DMC codes and the number of the packets. In this case we've got 58 colours in the kit itself. Now let me check if this cover has perforations. Just want to have a little look and they, there is the legend down the right hand side too. We also get a lifetime warranty which is on, printed on the bottom of the canvas so you get missing diamonds if you need them I've never had to do so there's always been enough diamonds in the kits then you would get the Facebook details the Instagram details plus the details of the canvas printed on the bottom left as well along with a picture here so it's all on the canvas too right let me check this cover aha uh -huh, okay so this cover is not perforated at all i've heard that some of the kits have now got um perforations along so that instead of keeping the cover on using the cover minder to keep the cover back they, that you can now take them off along the perforations so that will be interesting when I get a kit like that however it has to be said I do like to keep my cover on even when I've diamond painted an area I like to keep them as dust free as I can even when they're squares but especially if they are rounds so whether I would actually use the perforations to tear off sections I'm not sure if I would do that to be honest but it would have been interesting to see <laughs> You never know, one day I might be able to share that with you. So there we are, all of the diamonds back on the kit. You can see how natural looking it is. I think if you enjoy doing like the landscape type diamond paintings, you may well enjoy this one too, because they are such subtle colourways within and it's such a striking image. It might just change it up a little bit for you if you're looking to do something a little bit different. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I've really had a ball looking around this diamond painting and sharing it with you. Thank you so much for all your subscribes, your support and your comments. It means the world to me. So thank you so much. And I hope that you join me next time. Until then, enjoy your own diamond painting and keep sparkling everyone. Bye for now. Bye.